today, remember that we should always examine our hearts to make sure they are in the right place when we do things. Make sure that Yah is in the center of what we're doing from our hearts. Because there's a quick way to take Yah's forgiveness for granted and also a way to put up a false image which shouldn't be portrayed because truly it may not hurt everyone else to see your image that way, but you're hurting yourself by believing an image that isn't real. Because we're creatures of habit, so it's easy for us to get into the habit of saying, oh, he'll forgive me. You know, or it's easy to get in the habit of acting a certain way around certain people. And then when you're not around them anymore, your true self comes out, which can be wicked ways, you know. For example, Yeshayahu 29, 13 says, And so Yah says, These people say they are mine. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And their worship of me is nothing but man-made rules learned by rote. So in other words, they have to look, they know what to say, how to say it, who to say it to, where to say it, how to conduct themselves, but it's just routine. It's not something they really feel in their hearts. They don't have real conviction because when they're by themselves, they're not the same person anymore. Just because people can't see us, Yah can still see us no matter what. He knows all hearts. For another example, Yeshayahu 51 and 7 says, Listen to me, you who know right from wrong, you who cherish my law in your hearts, do not be afraid of people's scorn, nor fear their insults. There he know who really cherishes his law, who really cherishes his demand, his decree, and their relationship with him. He tells them, don't be afraid, for people may say things about you, about how you're saying these things and, and sticking true to me, but it doesn't matter because I'm here for you. Yerim Yahu 322 says, my wayward children, says Yah, come back to me and I will heal your wayward hearts. Yes, we're coming, the people reply, for you are Yahuwah, our Elohim. So he even knows the hearts of us who want to turn from our wicked ways so we can become closer to him and cherish that decree and his command and that love that he has for us. You see, Yah knows all and he knows all of our hearts. So it doesn't matter who we may fool, our classmates, co-workers, friends, even family but we cannot fool Yah. So it's good to examine ourselves so we can find out what we're doing and stop it and turn from our wayward ways so we can return to him or seek him if we haven't never been there before. Because in the end, he's the one who really matters, not the people we may have fooled.